It is the oldest sport played with a ball, handball. It's been around from the Egyptians to the Aztecs to today. And the United States Handball Hall of Fame is here in Tucson. Today, I enjoyed a tour through handball history. It's a surprise to some, uh, unless you drive by it daily. It is the United States Handball Hall of Fame, located on Tucson Boulevard, and it serves as America's shrine to the game of handball. It's uh, easy to learn and difficult to master. Those who have mastered it can be found inside here, thanks to oil paintings by artist Alvis B. Grant. The Handball Hall was in Chicago and in 1982 moved to Tucson, which Executive Director Matthew Kruger says was already hosting top handball competitions. Basically, that created a, a mecca, Tucson to be the mecca of handball for uh, the United States. This exhibit is, is uh, historically the, the beginning of U.S. handball, how it was established. Handball was brought to the United States in the 1880s by Irish immigrants. And while it's stood the test of time, it benefited with the racquetball boom of the 70s and 80s. In the 1970s, current Tucsonan Fred Lewis dominated as the top player in the world. That is until Natty Alvarado came along. Some say he's the greatest handball player of all time. This is the one. Handball, or wall ball, is played in singles or doubles, not to be mistaken from Olympic handball, which has teams throw a ball into a soccer-style goal. The thing about handball is the camaraderie uh, that other handball players have towards each other and, and the respect that they give to, to their opponents off and on the court. Exhibits feature trophies, pictures, and artifacts, as well as a growing collection of books. I want to say it was the mid-90s. That's when the foundation of handball fan Robert Ripley, from Ripley's Believe It or Not, donated this book. The building also houses handball's national headquarters, where tournaments are organized and developmental programs are established. It's critical to have a place that chronicles all of these great players and their accomplishments, not only to reflect on, on the things that they did, but also to serve as inspiration for tomorrow's champions.